Okay, guys, I have a good one for you today. So um, let's just get right into it. I'm using my long ballerinas. I used Madame Glam's XOXO for my new base color. I'm gonna be using this DND color changing gel polish. It's blue. And um, I'm gonna be using some new brushes, guys. I have some new brushes from Beatles. And no, this video is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is um, sponsored. Um, well, my Madam Glam stuff um, was free, um, but I already, you know, did the videos and stuff for those. So I don't know. Would the video still be considered sponsored if I'm using it? I think technically, I, I don't know. But anyway, guys. Um, but yeah, um, I got some new brushes because I desperately needed some new brushes. Um, and I'm so excited. Like, let's get into these brushes real quick we're definitely gonna have to go over look how pretty they are they're so pretty i got them off of amazon i'll give you all the link um in the description box but um here i am just checking them out and i'm trying to figure out also which one i'm gonna um cut because i do thin out my brushes um it just kind of helps with like you know line art and stuff like that i don't do all of them like that though i just kind of pick one brush and then you know that's basically my victim so i'm just going through showing you guys how they look and i think i ended up doing the orange one did i end up cutting the orange one maybe it was no maybe it was this one right here i don't know yet hold on let's see i can't even remember i did this video so long ago um yeah okay it wasn't the orange one y'all <laughs> so here i am it's the green one and i'm just using some um some cuticle scissors and i am thinning out the bristles as um you know just until i'm satisfied basically i'm just kind of eyeballing it um you know you guys don't have to do this if you don't want to but this is just this is what i do um like i said i don't do all my brushes like this i usually just do one and this is the brush that i'm going to use to do like super fine details and um I'm, i don't even think i ended up using that in this video did i i don't know i honestly can't remember you guys um this video was done a while ago and i'm just now doing a voiceover but yeah guys so um i'm finished cutting up my little brush and so oh no i'm not <laughs> never mind i'm just gonna be so real with you guys i am winging this voiceover because i can't remember what all i did like in the exact order um so i'm just kind of figuring it out as i watch um oh i also got some new cleanup brushes too so I also got these off of Amazon. I have an angled one and then I have like a round one. So I'm excited to be using those. Um, and then now I'm getting ready to do my nail art. So I put some of my D&D on my jade plate. I wish D&D would sponsor me. Like that's one brand that they just don't pay me any attention. <laughs> I don't even know if they sponsor people. I don't think I've ever seen anyone have i get like a dnd deal i don't know i need to look that up but anyway um so i am doing um a classic french tip on almost all of the nails i'm just gonna have one accent nail this time just keep it nice and simple um but yeah i like to do my smile line first and then i just take the gel polish just directly from the bottle and i you know fill the rest of it in which is why i only put a little dot of the dnd on my plate because i literally just need that to do my outline um so yeah here i am just you know making sure everything's nice and even and filled in and once i'm satisfied i'm gonna go ahead and cure that immediately under the lamp and again this gel polish is color changing so when it comes out of the lamp it's gonna be um, a lighter blue so basically the way that it works is um when you are like cold or just like regular temperature it's that dark blue right there but when you're warm it turns to um, a lighter blue and i did end up using the brush that i cut up by the way to do my smile line um, obviously you can see you know it's the same brush but i just had to 
I felt like I just had to say that because earlier I was like, I don't even know if I ended up using the brush, but yeah, I did. Um, and I don't feel like going back and editing and redoing this whole voiceover. So I'm just going to leave all that in there. Oh, and I also want to point out that this is um, a deep smile line. So that just basically means the smile line is, um, you know, a little more curved than like a traditional French tip smile line would be, if that makes sense. Um, if you know, you know. But anyway, so um, like I said, all of the nails are going to be completely identical except for the one accent nail. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I should cut this out and speed it up or if I should just leave it in there because like, I don't know, I'm just going to leave it in there. It's just that, you guys, I'm trying so hard not to have dead air in my videos. Like, usually I would only talk when it's necessary and then, like, you know, have the music play a little bit louder and then I'd come back and stuff like that. But I know a lot of people prefer when you just, like, kind of talk through the whole video. So I'm trying to do that. But it's just so hard because I'm literally not talking about nothing, okay? Like, I'm not talking about nothing and I just feel like I sound so stupid and yeah i don't know but anyway so i'm finally on the pinky and after i get off of this pinky we can get into the accent nail which i am actually so excited about because i'm trying something new i'm trying something new i'm coming out of my comfort zone so um once i hurry up and paint this pinky nail we can move on and i can show you what i'm talking about what are we doing okay oh no oh I did a second coat you guys I did okay oh my gosh okay so I did a second coat um you know like I said when you put it under the lamp of course it's going to be warmer so it's a lighter blue so that's the blue that it changes to and um I'm doing a second coat I didn't just do one coat for the French dip I did two coats of blue and then I cured that um but yeah so now we're moving on to the accent nail I'm using the Madame Glam's um Mirage and this is basically like play-doh for your nails so I'm just scooping out a little bit and making it into a little ball and I'm gonna be doing some um sculpted flowers with this Mirage so I just um, basically made all of the little balls that I needed first and um, then I used my tweezers and I applied it to the nails and um, you know made the petals that way. You'll see it in a minute. I need to slow down. I think I, I tried to get as many um, balls as I needed for like you know the accent nail so I think that was about um I think it was like eight or something like that so I just wanted to go ahead and get that set up so that I didn't have to you know worry about fighting it so yeah now I am using my tweezers and I'm going to place one of the little beads that I made um you know where I want my flower to go and I'm using this rubber tool um, I got this from a hair show like so many years ago. I went to, um, when I was in cosmetology school, we went on a field trip, um, to, um, this hair show and Tony was there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tony. Um, I'll put up his Instagram page. If you're in the nail world, you know who I'm talking about, but, um, this is, um, basically I, I bought it from his pop-up booth basically, and it's supposed to, um, like, you can use it to help, like, stick on um, decals, like, to rub it on there and stuff like that. Um, but I'm using it to help me sculpt these flowers, okay? And this is my first time doing these flowers. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just literally winging it, like, you know, if I had acrylic, this is what I would do type of thing. Um, the most I've ever done with this Mirage is do that little line. You know how that um, thick line was trending like on the nails and it still kind of is um yeah that's the most I've done with the mirage because it was just like the easiest thing to do um but these flowers weren't too bad like they didn't turn out perfect um honestly 
it was super basic but I feel like for my first time I did a decent job you know and then here I was trying to add like some dimension and a little bit of texture you know like I was feeling myself a little bit I was like okay like I can do this and as soon as I got it together I went ahead and put it under the lamp and I cured it but I spent a lot of time um, like just poking it and stuff like that. I really had to force myself to stop because I was like, you know what? I'm about to mess this up. Um, I was just trying to make it like look as much like a flower as I could. You know, I was trying to add like little details and stuff. But, um, you know, whatever. It was my first time. I did the best that I could. I definitely plan on practicing some more. Um, but yeah, so this is how it looks after I cured it. It's super pretty. I actually really like the clear look. Um, and I might do something later um, where I just leave like the design clear. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, so now I'm doing a half flower on the side of the nail. Um, so this is towards the free edge of the nail. And this was a little, you know, it was a little easier because it was only three petals. And I'm also um, trying not to let the petals like melt into each other. I tried to have them separate. Oh, and that was me trying to show y'all the the um, the um little tool that I'm using. It said design by Tony Lee on there. Um, like I said, I'll have his Instagram page. Um, I'll just put up another screenshot. But yeah, um, he's a really good... Um, acrylic nail artist he does like these amazing um designs with acrylic so um i'll link his instagram actually in the description box but anyway um the second flower was definitely a lot quicker because like i said it wasn't a full flower i just did three petals and i'm just you know being really careful that my petals don't touch and like melt into each other um and then you know once I, you know, poked it a million times, I went ahead and cured it under the lamp. And so this is what I was left with. So now I'm going to be using um, a smaller detail brush. And I'm going to paint the flowers um, with the blue. And I did, I think I did two coats. Maybe it was three. I'm not 100% sure. Um, oh, wait <laughs> no I'm not never mind before that I'm gonna go ahead and top coat my French tip nails so yeah I'm using my Madam Glam no wipe top coat I went ahead and you know top coated the French tip nails because those were done um so yeah I went ahead and did that and got that out the way should I cut this out I forget it I'm gonna just leave it in there whatever this is the reality of editing videos okay in case you were wondering so yeah and I guess I went ahead and showed me painting all four of the nails like doing the exact same thing I don't know why I did that but yeah mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of satisfying you know it's just nice and shiny like it's something about applying that top coat oh okay so yeah that's under the lamp curing for 60 seconds and um, this is me trying to find my um, shorter detail brush. So I found it. And like I said, I'm going to paint the petals. And I, um, you know, like I said, I wanted the petals to be separate. So um, I'm painting each petal individually. And the first coat is kind of like, you know, super see-through, but it's fine. Um, I can't remember if I did two coats or three, but you know, we'll find out together. So yeah, I'm, you know, trying to make it as even as possible, um, but some parts are a little more pigmented than others just because, um, you know, the way that the flower was like sculpted onto the nail and everything. And it has like that little dip in the middle. So the middle has a little bit more pigment and then um, where the petals are like flared up around the edges it turned out a little bit more transparent than I would have liked, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm doing my first coat. I cured that for 60 seconds. And then um, here I am applying a second coat. And like I said, I'm not sure if I did two or three, but we're about to find out. Um, and I'm just curing 60 seconds in between as always. 
so yeah it looks like i just did two coats so that's how it turned out and now i'm using the betty cora eight in one nail glue gel and i'm gonna apply a little dot in the center of the flowers and i'm gonna be using these crystals that i got from aliexpress um these are the sororski crystal dupes from aliexpress i'll try to um link them in the description box you know like sometimes like aliexpress is kind of weird and Shein kind of does this too like sometimes the link is available but then you know you try to go back like a month later and it's not so yeah if i can find the link and it's available i will put it in the description box but if you don't see the link then that just means i wasn't able to find it so yeah now i'm using my little detail brush and i'm getting some more of the betty cora and i'm just going around the crystals um, I'm going to cure that for another 60 seconds and that's just going to add some extra reinforcement because I decided to just go right in with my um, Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. Usually I would do a base coat first, but I was worried that it would kind of flood. Um, like I was worried that it would like flood the design. Like So like I like the fact that the flowers are, you know, 3D and stuff like that and I didn't want to add um you know the base coat and like make it so thick that it kind of took away from that 3d effect so i decided to just um go over it with my no wipe top coat and call it a day and i was really happy with how these nails turned out and here i just wanted to show you the color change once again um it's darker when it's cold and it's lighter when it's warm so this is how they look and then of course i'm gonna show you how they look on my hands so starting with my thumbs and then here are the rest of the nails they're so pretty and um you can kind of see the color change a little bit um so like where it's on my actual nail bed it's lighter because you know my body temperature is warm but my free edge um, it was a little chilly outside so my free edge is um colder so that's why it's darker so yeah this is how the nails turned out you guys i got so many compliments and i was in love with this set this was so pretty um yeah i think i did a really good job and i really like how the flowers turned out but you guys be the judge let me know what you think down in the comment section below um yeah so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it i know that my voiceover was a hot mess but you know it is what it is they can't always be perfect so yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe